Hi everyone, welcome to the May Art Snacks box. Um, th this month we got a, a lot of fun items to try. Uh, the first one was the um, Liquitex Heavy Body Acrylic Paint, which was, um, I personally got the uh, Muted Green. Uh, it's from the Muted uh, Collection. Um, it w it's really nice because it's, um, it has a, v a very wide range of tones. You can have like a really, really dark uh, green, which is almost black. And then as you dilute it, then it turns a very light, a light turquoise um, kind of uh, green. So I really enjoyed it. Um, the, um, the Marabou art crayons were fun too. They're twistable. So as you use them up, you can twist the, uh, the core out of the the uh, plastic outside and um, keep using them so those are great they're nice and creamy um, the only thing is um, it feels like even a watercolor paper or maybe because it was watercolor paper I don't know uh, because it was of the texture um, they are water soluble but it's there's they still leave a little mark on the paper um, also I noticed that you need the um, a brush um, with uh, a bit stiffer bristles to be able to um, spread out the pigments uh, well on the paper so the brush that came in this month's box is a bit um, the bristles are a bit too soft and um, they it didn't really work very well I thought to uh, spread out the pigments so you'll see in my demonstration I used a, um, a water brush that I got in a previous box and uh, that helped a lot um, also the um, the brush that I got is a dagger and it's really cool and I was able to make very very fine lines with them with it but just to paint in general is not the uh, the best so that's why you see that I used another brush actually I use a little round brush and also a um, my water brush um, so for the um, the art crayons I tried different ways uh, to use them uh, I didn't I wanted my uh, my painting to be nice and smooth so uh, because I had noticed that the um, the pigments aren't spread very well throughout on the page and you you see some residue some marks on the paper um, I decided to uh, try another way I cut a little bit of the um, the crayon onto my palette and I tried to uh, water it down and make a wash uh, I was not very successful at it I thought it was going to be um, diluting more but it didn't really uh, I still was able to kind of use it like watercolor uh, best I could and towards the end I actually um, uh, brushed my uh, bristles the bristles of my brush against the tip of the crayon straight on the crayon and that helped a bit um, the um, for the acrylic paint it was fun to use it uh, many different many different ways I diluted it a lot to give a watercolor effect and I really really like that but I also like that I could keep it uh, less diluted and um, and it gave me um, it helped me build all my shadows that way so anyway um, it was a tricky challenge for me I think I probably should have used um, a paper that was more um, a watercolor paper this one is takes a lot of water so it's nice but maybe um, a watercolor sketchbook would have been more appropriate um, I struggled using the art crayons but Again, it was a nice challenge and I had a great time. So I hope you like it too and I'll see you next time.